what are function modifiers in solidity function modifiers are used to restrict a user from performing some kind of action let's understand it with an example for example i have a variables of type string and let's set it to public name and i'll initialize it to any and let's declare one more variable of type address and name owner and let's declare one constructor and we want to set the owner to the person who is deploying this contract so set the owner to message.sender so message.sender will get the value of the person who is deploying this contract set it to equal to and now we have the value set to the owner now let's say i want to declare a function to change the name of the variable let's say change name and get the parameters string memory new name set it to public but here is the thing i don't want anybody to change the name i only want the person to change the name who has deployed this contract so how can i achieve that we already know who is the rightful owner to change the name because we have set the value of the owner inside the constructor that means when somebody will deploy the contract we would know his address so to check if he is the rightful owner or not we will use the function modifier so function modifiers are declared with the keyword modifier and let's say only owner we can give any name but i'll give let's say only owner and here i can check one thing require i can say owner should be equals to message dot sender okay and if it is not equal to message dot sender then it should return an error you are not the owner owner all right modifier and once we are done with this in the next line you should set it to underscore semicolon this is important because once your condition is satisfied it is going to execute your code here now after the public keyword we can set only owner so what it will do is it will check if right person is calling this function or not if it is not the right person it is going to throw this uh, error and if the right person is calling this function then it will allow us to change the name so now here we can change the name so we can set it to new name and that's it we are done so now let's test it let's deploy this contract and let's see the value of the name first we can see we are getting the value any now i want to change the value of uh, the name so first let's try with some different address we know that we have deployed this contract from this address so it will allow us to change the name but let's error it out if somebody else will try to change the name it should not allow it so i can do give the new name any man and you see we are getting this error you are not the owner now let's set it back to the original address and now let's try to change the name and there you go we have a successful transaction now if we'll click on the name we should have the modified name function modifiers are really great way to restrict the unauthorized users from calling the functions in solidity so couple of things to notice here so this is a global variable message.sender so message.sender will give us the address of the person who is calling this uh, function or deploying this contract and in the initial stage when we deployed the contract from this address so it set the value of that address in the owner and that's how we are comparing the value here when we call the function again it checked that if the same person has called this function or not since we already have the value of the owner we are comparing it against the same value and if we are calling from the same address it will allow us to change the name otherwise it will uh, give this error so it is really a neat and clean way to check if authorized users are calling this function or not it is not only limited to the authorized user you can do a lot with the function modifiers for example you can use them just like functions 
so i can pass something here let's say number five and here i can say u int and let's say number so you can receive the parameters here as well and based on those parameters you can perform some kind of additional checks and if those checks are satisfied then only somebody should be able to call this function so it is a really a powerful feature in solidity